Good morning, everybody. In a little bit of a rush this morning, so really quick before we leave, wanted to give you an outfit of the day. Leggings are Fabletics, nice and thick. Top is Forever 21, little crop top. My jacket is Princess Polly and Old Navy bag. Earrings are Anna Luisa. Nikes, Nike socks. Glasses, I always get questions on. I believe they're from Fermo, I think. Anyways, if you guys remember, back on Father's Day, we got my dad and Zane's stepdad a gift to go drive a really cool car and it got delayed, got delayed, and it's finally today. So we're making it a family thing. We're gonna go, probably go out to lunch after, and have a cute little day. So that's the plan, yo. Let's do it. I think I'm gonna help my dad make his first vlog for his channel, so I'm probably gonna focus a little bit more on that and help him out. So if you guys wanna see um, his perspective of the day, then you can go check out his channel. I'll have it linked down below, but. Ready, babe? High five. Yes, ma'am. Let's, Let's do it. Let's do it. Whoa. Good Whoa. morning! Hello! Are you ready? I don't need, you don't need anything, right? To have our names? No, you should be good. I have the email. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break too easy. But I'm worth it. I'll sit Oh, shit. <laughs> the green one is nice. Oh, the green one is nice. The green one is nice. No way. <laughs> Yeah, that's the Corvette. That's the one we rented. Red Ferrari. Red Ferrari. <laughs> oh man, how exciting! Oh Did you make an appointment for a special time, or you just wait? Uh, Eleven o'clock is their thing. Oh. Said get here ten to fifteen minutes early. What time is it? Ten minutes early. <laughs> Ford parking lot. That's why it doesn't come up, Liz. Because now it's a Ford thing. I guess now. Oh look at him vlogging. <laughs> What a vlogger. I said, I feel like Alyssa's back home. Dumb. We talk through it. I'm like, are you talking to me? <laughs> oh, you're talking to the cat. <laughs> You've never vlogged before, Dad. Are you like, you think you're just going to come natural? Yeah. All right. I love the confidence. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. Made it out alive. Finally. I feel like we gave them this gift so long ago. My mask is from one of you guys, one of your Instagram shops, by the way. So I'll have it linked yeah. down below. She does like all tie-dye stuff. Oh. Funny enough, you guys, this is the same company that Zane rented the Corvette from, so it's literally sitting over there. It's so funny, the exact one. And I'm so sad. Why? I don't know how sad I am. Why are That's you sad? My baby. <laughs> what? It's my baby. Oh, so you're sad because it's yes. over there? All these peasants driving my baby. <laughs> you guys up or what? No, there's a 20 minute wait for the Lambo and a 40 minute wait for the Ferrari. Damn. I'll be first. I'm sure it'll go fast. There's actually a lot of people here. Is anyone doing the event door? No. No one wants to pay the forty dollars extra. It's for a per lap. No. Forty dollars extra a lap. It's forty bucks. It's different. Yeah. Per lap. By the way, we're at Nassau Coliseum, you guys, and I'm just getting very sad because if you're familiar with New York, this is like such a big uh, concert spot, and I used to go here all the time for concerts, and now I'm just sad that we can't go to concerts, and I really want to go see my Billy concert. I can't believe it. That was something that I was so excited for. Me and my sister are now just waiting. They haven't even announced like the new date, like not even next year. They just said it's like a like a wait, what? Is it? It's just postponed. A postponed. We're not seeing her here though. We're seeing her at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, which is also a really amazing venue. New York has so many beautiful venues, but anyways, we got them signed up and they're uh, like a 40 minute wait for one of the cars and then a 20 minute wait. My dad's doing a Ferrari and then Ever's doing the Lamborghini. So we're just sitting outside. It's beautiful out anyway. So we're just having a wait and watching everybody drive. It's so nice, it's so cool. I want one one day. Ever's up you guys, yay! He's doing the green Lamborghini right there. I'd be so nervous to drive these. I don't know why, like somebody else's car, it's very expensive. Great present idea. Did you come up with this idea or did I? I think you did. Oh, cool. uh, I don't remember. Oh, my mom did. Mom giving you credit. What? Great idea for a gift. <laughs> it was your idea. I think smiling. it was your idea, right? Smiling. Yeah, I know, you can't see your smile. <laughs> for this to rent this Lamborghini. I'm so curious. This is the first person we've seen renting it, so I'm so excited to see like how it sounds and how fast it goes. I'm so proud of him! I'm so proud! He's going so fast! So many people you guys are renting these cars and they're going like they're not even fully 
slowly sending it, but Ever's going for it. I'm so proud. Also, this is somebody that works here, so they're definitely gonna send it nice. And Zane just said it's probably five. Oh my god! Oh, holy shit. shit. You know what? They're probably like, nobody's renting it. Let's get it out there and get people wanting to rent it. Oh my god. Because it's god. so expensive to rent. Oh. I mean, drive. You know oh, what I mean? Look, he's moving. He is cruising. Woo! This is literally like a display so that people want to drive it. Oh my god! It literally looks like a Hot Wheels. <laughs> it looks like a little mini Hot Wheel. Just That's so bad. Ass. That's sick. That is so loud. What are we doing? <laughs> Good job! Good job. <laughs> you did it fast. We were so proud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, dad's up. I'm gonna put you guys down, but I'm gonna film him on for his channel. So if you guys wanna see more, go to his channel. You sent it! Yeah. Did it feel like you were pushed back? I felt like I only did three laps though. He's no, like, you, oh, did four. Four. you did four. You did four. We paid Like that was fast. <laughs> yeah, fast. All right, and that's a wrap, everybody. Super fun. Now we're gonna go grab food. I am hungry. I haven't eaten anything. What time is it? Let's see. We got here at like 10:50. It's 12:33. Okay. Now we're going out to lunch. We're going to where is it? Cheesecake Factory. Where is it? I see Spirit. Oh, it's over here. Next door is Spirit Halloween. You guys might have to take a little trip in there. TF Chang's? Yeah. yeah, it's like fancy Chinese Just food. Fancy? Yeah, it's fancy. It's fancy. I'm really excited to go to Cheesecake Factory. This has become my new favorite restaurant, honestly. Love it. Dad's vlogging, everyone. Vlogception. <laughs> <laughs> That's so lovely. No, no. What do you think, Mom? No. What? No. What? No. The clown? Scary clown. That one's kind of freaky. Yeah, I don't care for that. You know, this stuff scares me more when it's dark. <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> Ooh, that's scary. I don't want that one. Look at this guy. Wow. No, thank you. Okay, you're gonna do it. What do you put this on the front lawn? Is this outdoor? Yeah. It looks like both. Yeah, yeah. They had this last year. And that one too. I remember those both. Uh, do you like scary stuff? You do, yeah. right? Yeah, I feel like you like scary movies. I'm going by that giant spider. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> he looks like he's humping it. It could be his like really long penis. <laughs> Agamu meets the vlog. <laughs> oh, okay, Geraldine! This is what you're gonna be investing in in life. You're not gonna invest in like home decor or anything. You're just gonna invest in like Halloween, Halloween people. Absolutely. Cause these are expensive, holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. Short hair Benji. Benji? Short hair Benji. Ah, oh, cutie, cute, cute. Well Benji's cuter. Ouija board, would you ever do a Ouija board? This is pretty. Yeah? Movie. It's not real. It's not real? No. Okay. I've done it before. Oh, you have? You have? Yeah, nothing happened. Oh, I haven't. DIY dad behind the scenes, dedicated vlogger. <laughs> Are you talking to them or you're just showing your face? I was talking. Oh, good, good. What is this, you don't. Hey, wait, question. How do you feel like putting your camera up? Like, are you like embarrassed that people I'm like. I'm embarrassed. It? You are? Yeah, I don't like it. You think people are like gonna say something? People are like, to you? look at this. Like, what the hell is he doing? Yeah. Yeah. He's not embarrassed, asshole. you're doing it. What are you talking about? <laughs> at 55 years old. <laughs> I see a businessman is what I see. Oh, oh no, no. I feel like you're kind of into this. Like you're a little bit scared, but like you like it. Oh no, I do. You, you do like it. Yeah. What does he eat her head? <laughs> what does he do? Oh, no. Just holds her up. Oh, I don't like that one. No, no. You ready? You said
<laughs> my mom brought her cheesecake in the car and my dad's like, just eat it, eat it with a straw. straw. <laughs> Look, he made it work. Mm. Yo, that is just good. <laughs> it's working. He's gonna eat your whole piece, Aria. You want some of this? No. <laughs> Here, take it with a straw. Why not? See, it works. <laughs> That it was this big of a building. I didn't even realize that it was like a factory. Uh, I thought it was just a store of like Lord where they sell it all. Oh, I'm I'm a a <laughs> it's not that bad. You can just look away. You don't want to break something in here. It's expensive. What? What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> okay, we went to Spirit Halloween, but now we're taking it a level up. We're at Ruby's in Melville, and this is where like you can see how giant this building is where they like manufacture like literally like um costumes for like movie sets like really cool um masks and outfits and like i don't know it's, it's just really it's a it's a fun store and they're open all year round it's not even just now i believe dad's vlogging <laughs> anyways if you watched my vlogs last year near halloween time we went here too and it was a lot of fun so <laughs> Much, yeah, you are. I'm a little bit embarrassed, I'll tell you the truth. Not with me. Even walking with me, you're embarrassed? Uh, I'm with you, Where are you going? He's funny. His first vlog, it's okay. Got a giant Hulk over there. I can't believe you've never been here. What? I even never knew it was here. Yeah. I Ruby's was the buffet place. <laughs> oh, they have a Hulk inside, too. Oh, there you go, Mom. Would you like some brain? <laughs> It's oh, freaky. Look at the hands, Alyssa. Yeah, they're massive. Imagine Treat putting those on. Scary. You should get that, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like those legs. Oh, it looks real. Oh, hello, what's under this? <laughs> oh, Ma, don't touch it. Wow, you're getting brave. Are we proud of her? Wait, yeah, we wait. wait. Look no, at no, 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 wait. Look, 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 look at the zombies. Look, look at the guy. With <laughs> I see them. Jerry, what are you doing? I don't like it. I don't know. I don't like it. Ooh. That's what you had in the bathroom. No. Let me out of here. No, you can stay. Yeah, look at Aren't these insane? Oh yeah, baby, look. Stranger Things right there, right? Yeah, right yeah. here. Oh yeah, Stranger Things. This could be your new mask now. Right now. You're proud of me, right? Because the lights are on. Because the lights are on. Who would want to walk through here in the dark? Huh? I hate this one. I'm gonna see that in my nightmares. <laughs> Wait, Ma, usually they have these on though, and this guy like oh. shakes in the chair, and yeah, this he's gonna electrocute and this one like rocks, but they don't yeah. have them on. Here's what Zane and I walked out with. Can you guys guess what we're gonna be for Halloween? Zane's mom's gonna have a Halloween party because she freaking loves Halloween so much. And so I'm finally gonna live out my dreams of what we've I've always wanted to be. So Zane and I are gonna be this. Looks like I'm putting it up this bit. <laughs> Okay, everybody, we are home now. Just been relaxing for a little bit, sitting on the couch. I posted on Instagram, and now I just want to tidy up the bedroom for a minute. Just something that's been on my mind, and I feel like I want to do something productive. Okay, I changed into this really awesome sweater that I got from ThreadUp. It's from Gap though, but it is <laughs> so soft and comfy. I don't know, for some reason I have like a chill. I hope I'm okay. I think I'm fine. I think I'm just, it's just a little bit chilly outside today actually, so I guess that's it. But I'm not complaining honestly because I love me a good hoodie. You guys know this. This has a hood. It's got a hood. So cute. Anyways, um, Zane is just making some chicken thighs and I'm gonna make some zucchini noodles and make that for dinner for myself. He's gonna have like just 
chicken and pierogies and stuff. Chicken macaroni, chili with my homies. That song's been stuck in my head all day. But yeah, I've been wanting to show you guys how I make these zucchini noodles. It's really, really yummy. Last time I made them with chicken sausage, but we don't have any right now, so I'm just gonna do a chicken thigh because it'll be yummy regardless. So we're gonna make that in just a minute, but I also wanted to give you guys a little update because I did see some comments about it recently. Um, I wanted to give you an update on my journaling. And I gotta be honest, I don't think it was like the right thing for me. However, I tried journaling. I also did start doing some yoga. I started doing a little bit of meditation. Um, I started doing some like mindful thinking practices where you like, there was one practice where you stare at an object and if you have a thought, you let it like marinate for a second and then you let the thought go and you don't let it like take over your head, you know? And so I don't know what exactly has been working, but my mental health has been a lot better um, after combining all of that. I've been working out consistently every day and stretching every day afterwards. And um, I don't know, I just think that all of those things combined have like helped my mental health a lot. I did journaling maybe two pages and I kind of just never picked it back up. But I think I do want to get back into it in terms of like, I would think I want to write down like what I'm grateful for every day and like my strengths and what like makes me happy and just like maybe like a little bit of a positivity bullet i don't know i i feel like i just enjoy like the yoga and the working out and i've been listening to a lot of like positive podcasts and i think that's just kind of more my route and maybe i kind of like put journaling in the category of like memories which i feel like i vlog so i don't really need it like i don't think that one day like my grandchildren will need to read my journal because they'll have my videos to watch as memories so i know a lot of people do it for that sake but i'm just testing out the waters you know 2020 has been crazy for us all mentally so i'm just testing out like what works for me and yeah so i think all those methods are working really well i just don't think journaling is like i like it but i don't think it's at the top of my list you know so that's my little update on that i've also been taking a lot more time for myself and i know it sounds silly but I saw you guys saying it as well, like Sundays have been making me so happy. <laughs> she did my dress girdle. Sundays have been making me so happy and it's been really, really good on my mental health. So something so simple as just like, Sunday is the day for me, even if I have something going on, it is my day and I'm gonna do what makes me happy, it makes me smile, and I've been really um, enjoying it and that has definitely been really nice for me mentally. So yeah, this kind of turned into a mental health update, but just keeping myself busy, um, Zayn and I have been spending a lot of quality time together. I really enjoy hanging out with my parents. I made plans with my sister next week and um, we had a really beautiful day today. So doing pretty well. But yeah, that was my journal update. <laughs> Did you think your whispering was gonna? <laughs> yeah, I do actually. <laughs> and you're drinking a lime seltzer, not even a twisted tea. <laughs> no, nah. no. Nah. Having my uh, sparkling water. My fancy, what is it? Le Croix. La Croix. I know, I just like that with your La Croix. Although I think that's just Aldi brand or a uh, little brand. Yeah, that's lime. I was just saying because you were like being funny, like trying to whisper. I'm like, oh, and you're not even drinking a twisted tea. That was the point. I really thought it was quiet. Oh. When I said OK Google, that was a little bit louder than I'd like it to be. But when I said set a time for five minutes, I thought that was pretty low. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, can we give them an update on selling Sunset? <laughs> Come, I want to hear your thoughts. All right. <laughs> what? Are you about to give me hit me with something that I don't want to hear? No. Oh, I think you're no, gonna no, tell no. me that you don't like it. I was reflecting on the show. Okay. Let me think. So, Chriselle? Ah. Yeah, I really liked her, but now she. Well, we're only on episode what five? Five or six. Five or six. Yeah, Chriselle has been a little iffy. She seemed innocent at first, and now where we're at. Well, like, I don't think. I now that I'm learning, I don't think any of them are innocent. I think they're all like. Just there snobby. for the, they're there for themselves, right? But I think Heather and Mary seem pretty innocent. Yeah, Mary yeah. seems like. I think Mary seems the most innocent to me, at least. Yeah. Christine, the one who comes across as a bitch at first, she's like having a lot of um, what is it called? Like realizations. Uh, no, 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 not realizations. When you have like a one-on-one -on -one with somebody, oh, a heart to heart. She's had a few hearts to hearts with Chriselle. And we're like, so you're wow. starting to see like a nicer side of her. So you're like, yeah, she, maybe Opening she's not up. such a bitch. Yeah. And then who is that? Who else? Christine makes the show though. Like she makes the drama. Yeah, like no, for they sure. wouldn't like they need somebody like that on the show. What's the other thing I could update on? Can we watch a little bit of it tonight? Down. I like that we, we have a show to watch it, um, together. While we eat. I like that we have a show to watch together, but I also want to watch it more. 
Yeah. It's hard to get the both of us That's together. That's why I to watch um, oh, yeah, Vanderpump. Oh, yeah, I started Vanderpump Rules. It's pretty good. Yeah. I mix up the shows, though. We were watching it last week, and I'm like, what did I say? I'm like, oh, what? About the I'm like, what happened to that girl that broke up with a bartender? He's like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> it's about houses. I'm like, oh, shit. That's hilarious. That's Vanderpump. Yeah, so we have to watch more tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's make some zucchini noodles, because now I'm hungry. It's 6.37, and we ate at, like, 1, I think. Alright, check it out, you guys. This is my secret weapon. It's called the Vegetti. It's on my Amazon store. This is how I spiralize my zucchini. So, take your plate. I'm gonna wash off my zucchini. Oh, look at me, you guys. I'm making my own recipe again. I made this and shared it on my Instagram story, and it was really, really yummy. So I'm gonna make, like, it's gonna be really similar. Not exact, but similar. The only thing is that this zucchini is literally massive. So... We're gonna see if it works, I don't know. This spiralizer has like a thick and thin side, so I'm just putting it on the thick side. Once you get this like peak here, you wanna just like angle it and like start shredding that down. Oh, I need to make a nail appointment. Hi, how are you, Elizabeth? I'm good, Nance, how are you? I'm good. Good, um, do you have anything on Monday for me? Of course, what time? Uh, do you have like 1.30? Okay, uh, what do you need, Elizabeth? Just the dip gel. Okay, hold on. Okay. What time do you say, 1 o'clock? 1.30 do you have? Or do you okay. have... Okay, one thirty is good. Okay. Yeah. Bye, Lisa. Bye, Nancy. Okay? You too. Enjoy your Sunday. Oh, thank you. Bye. <laughs> All right, See bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> I love her. Okay. Nails on Monday. So time for one minute. One minute. One minute. I need to try to start purposely getting zucchini that are, like, thinner. Cause then it doesn't fit in the, in the spiralizer. Man, a lot of zucchini though, wow. Or yeah, noodles, but I, mean. I need to get ones that aren't that. You can see if you can get an electronic one. I know I should, huh? You can also buy them already spiralized. Mm. All right, zucchini noodles are done. I'm just setting them to the side for right now. I already took my sweater off because now that we're cooking, it's getting hot in the kitchen. I can step out. <laughs> a lot of you guys tell me to use the garlic press and I literally own two of them. I just never found that they are useful and I just looked up a video and it says you can put them in there with the skin on and you're supposed to like be able to just like crush it out. But I find it just makes more mess and then you have to like scrape it out. I'd rather just freaking peel it and chop it quick but I'm gonna try it today for you guys. So Zane made the chicken thighs. We just did Salt, pepper, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning on a pan with oil. Don't need to go crazy with chicken thighs because they're flavorful on their own. I'm just gonna empty out a little bit of the grease from the pan. But I'm gonna use the pan because it's got flavor in there. Make whatever meat you want. Now in the pan, I'm gonna do some onion. I actually already have some pre-chopped here. This is probably a little bit less than quarter of an onion. I'm just using the leftovers that we have, so that's what I had in my little onion, and now I have like half a shallot, so I'm just gonna cut this up really quick and throw it in there with it. Extra flavor, never hurt nobody. My good knife is dirty, by the way, that's why I'm using this one. Okay, throwing it all in there. Onion, shallots, garlic, whatever you wanna put in. Okay, let's try this out. I'm wearing my um, Apple Watch for the first time in like months. Okay, I'm gonna put the garlic clove in here, and we're just gonna mash it. I'm gonna do it over the cutting board in case it messes up. See like what is going on here? Are they not all meant to be done with the gel? It's not doing anything. I mean it mashed it I guess. Okay I'm gonna peel it. Let's peel and then see how it goes. Oh! Okay! I'm not mad at that. And now it's, but now like what? I gotta go like this, I gotta go like this. That's not too shabby, but that's also just like crushed. It's not like minced. Do you know what I mean? But I'm sure you guys will give me the rundown. Give me the schooling on the garlic press. <laughs> also now, instead of just using the cutting board and knife that I was using for other things, now I gotta wash that too. So give me the pros and cons. I wanna be convinced, cause I want to like it. Anyways, okay. Why don't I what? The garlic press? Yeah. I just sometimes feel like the old school way is the best. Just like a knife on a board, you know? Because cutting garlic really isn't like a big deal. It's not like too difficult. Okay, I'm gonna put it in with the onion. Oh, it smells so good. All right, mix her all around. Looking like that. Beautiful. 
And I'm actually gonna take this off the heat for a minute because I should have done this earlier, but I got some cherry tomatoes from our garden. So how many is here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven of them. Whatever. Take a handful. And we're gonna chop them up in half on our board. I don't know why, but the tomatoes in our garden, like, you can't really eat them on their own because they're kind of sour, but, and it's not that they're under ripened because they're definitely ripe. I've had one sit there for too long and then it got gushy and now I take them off at the right time. They're all lined up. Look at our babies. Cat break. Oh no. No. They were all sitting the same, all yeah. lined up. Look like a little collection. Yeah, uh, our collection. <laughs> My app watched you telling me to breathe. <laughs> I'm saying, hey. Chill out. Chill. Oh, my tomato's running away, babe. Is it running? Where's it going? It went over there. Benji's gonna eat it. Hurry up. No way. Look, he's gonna eat it. Benji? Baby's gonna eat it. Damn, this thing's much more. It rolled. <laughs> Are we soaked? No. Oh, oh, oh. Poor dad jokes. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, back on the heat sheet goes. Our stove is really strong, so I'm putting it like a little bit more than low. Tomatoes are going in. We're gonna let those like wilt down. Oh, yumminess. I also steamed a bag of peas. Don't recommend these. They are um, Target's brand. I don't really like them that much, but it's all we got right now and I'm not gonna let them go to waste. So we're gonna use them. I'm also now going to prep this piece of chicken. It has cooled down. I'm just gonna cut it into small pieces. This looks good, babe. Oh, he's not even here. I'm talking to no one. <laughs> Babe, why is his phone still playing in here? I don't know where he went. That's funny. You ever turn around in the supermarket and think you're talking to whoever you're with and it's a random person? I've done that and I thought it was my mom. Oh, yum. That looks good. Mm. Babe? Calling me? You don't hear me talking. No, oh, what's up? I'm talking to you. I turned around and you weren't there. Oh, no. Look at that deliciousness. So yummy. Setting this aside with the chicken. Oh, I think this is gonna be even better than with chicken sausage. Now in the pan, I'm not even doing anything to it. I'm just gonna warm the zucchini noodles really quick. Just really quickly toss them around. I don't wanna cook them too long because I don't want them to get like super soft. Just a quick heat through and get all those flavors out of the pan. And right back onto the plate. I'm gonna quickly warm up a quarter cup of pasta sauce. This is the tomato, basil, and garlic from Lidl. Okay, now we assemble. Sauce goes on. And now we're gonna put on our toppings. So first things first, I'm gonna put on my peas. And then the onions and tomatoes. The chicken. I'm just gonna really roughly do some fresh basil. This makes it so good. And lastly, you gotta top it off with some grated parm. And I'm just doing two teaspoons over the whole thing. And there you have it, you guys. That is how you do zucchini noodles. So good. I feel like anything that is like a wannabe pasta replacement, you gotta dress it up like a salad. Like you can't just have a boring salad. You gotta put stuff on there, you know? Make it worth it and good. Very, very excited. Also, if you don't add salt while you're cooking everything, just make sure you add a little bit on top. So bomb. Um, also, by the way, I don't think zucchini noodles taste like pasta at all. I don't think anything can come close to pasta. I've tried spaghetti noodles, zucchini noodles, those miracle noodles. Maybe like the chickpea pasta is good. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks pretty similar. So I wouldn't really categorize zucchini noodles in the same category as pasta. Like, I really enjoy zucchini noodles, but I don't think it's a replacement. Like, I'll still eat pasta, you know? But it is a really good, low-calorie, healthy base to a dish, you know? I really like it. We made a gnocchi bolognese dish one time, and I'm like, that won't really fill me up by itself. But if I put it on top of, my camera died. But you guys get what I was trying to say. Basically, it just like beefs up a meal in a very low-calorie, good way. So, if this was pasta, this would be <laughs> very high-calorie. I was gonna say more delicious too, but honestly, this is really like a good combo. Like I think the texture of the zucchini noodles is great. Like, I don't know. I hope you guys try this because it's easy and really yummy. I also think I wanna look into getting, Zane suggested like a um, electric spiralizer because I really do enjoy making these and I should have them more often. I don't know, just a little thing that would make life easier. If you're gonna do it so often, you might as well get a electric one. Okay, here's the dealio, you guys. I just got a little bit lost on TikTok for a while, but that's okay. Anyways, I am heating up some potatoes that I made last night for myself for dinner. If you watched a recent vlog, I talked about this HelloFresh meal that was really good. 
and I used Harissa seasoning, which you can buy in a bottle. I looked it up because I love it so much, but I just made it on my own last night because I don't have it. So you can look it up and look up how to make it. It's like garlic powder, a little bit of cinnamon, paprika, cayenne pepper. It's so delicious. So I did that on regular potatoes. It's really good on sweet potatoes, but also really, really bomb on regular potatoes. I had made them in the oven yesterday, and now I'm just heating them up in the air fryer. And then I also made this really awesome uh, sauce to dip it in. And basically I put like the mixture of the harissa, harissa, sorry, harissa powder in here. And you dip it in like this non-fat Greek yogurt sauce. Oh my God, such a good snack. It is bomb. Also, it's been a while since I've eaten dinner, but I know you just watched me make it. So this is weird. But after this, um, Zane's washing dishes and then we're gonna watch Selling Sunset. I'm gonna hop on the bike because I didn't get to exercise this morning because we left early in the morning and I wanted to make sure I was like ready. But I have been getting on my bike for 30 minutes every morning. I've been sweating. It's been such a good routine. And then I do some exercising right after. I've been doing some squats, some push-ups, some crunches and then I stretch for a while and it just feels so good and I take some time for myself in the morning it's been really really nice but uh, today was the first day in like I think I've been doing consistently for like five or six days now today was the first day that I just didn't have the time in the morning I needed a little bit more sleep I could have gotten up early and done it but I didn't but it works out because we're gonna watch some selling sunset I'll hop on the bike while we do so it'll be good also sneak peek this this is just stuffing that needs to go with our gift wrapping stuff but I got a package from Shein so I'm gonna make that a video of unboxing it. I've just been waiting. It's been sitting here. I've had it for a few days. So you definitely can expect that video coming soon, but let's try these potatoes. Tell me these don't look amazing, you guys, with the sauce. Oh, I'm telling you, bomb. Actually, you know what? I have the seasonings right here, so there you guys go. I added turmeric because I did not have coriander, so yeah, you guys gotta try this seasoning. It is so bomb. So I just took all of those and just did them by eye. Ready, 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 ready. I should have done a little Sprite oil on them. But still, so good. I'm curious if you're gonna like this, babe. Here. The potato? Yeah. Good, okay. Bite it. No, bite it. It's not the right ratio of yogurt. Oh, yeah. You come here, bite. Oh, wow, that is good. Well, it's spicy. Very spicy. Look at you. I know. I made them a little bit too spicy, but. No, those are really good. It's still enjoyable. Mmm. I know what you mean now, how it's like interesting and different. It's very different tasting, I yeah. feel like it's sweet and spicy. Yeah, it is spicy. I'm getting like the cinnamon, but then I'm getting like the cayenne kind of pepper. You guys gotta try this, so good. And I made up the yogurt thing on my own because when I made this with HelloFresh, they used mayo, but I was like, let me try yogurt. It's like a yogurt sauce, like I love yogurt sauce, and it worked out. That actually came in clutch because now I want like salty. Good, <laughs> there you go. We still have a bunch of potatoes, no? Huh? Yeah, we can make more if you want. Okay, you guys, it's gonna do it for me today. Today's notification shout-out goes to Brianna Nicole. She said, notification squad, what is your favorite holiday? This is easy, hands down, Christmas, of course. Christmas is absolutely my favorite. I love the vibes, I love the food, I love the energy, I love the music. Zane probably gets sick of the Christmas music because I play it so damn much but I just love the season. It just makes me happy. And I love when you're like inside and you get a snowy day. That's also great. And the cookies and the movies. I love Elf. Like, oh, there's like TikTokers that do like point of views that it's like Christmas morning, like throughout, like they've been doing it for the last few months as far as I've seen. Maybe it's been going on for longer, I don't know. But I love seeing those. It just makes you so happy seeing like the hot chocolate and the blankets and the socks. Oh, so happy. Definitely love Christmas time. Let me know what your guys' favorite holiday is down below. I'm very curious. I feel like a lot of people like Thanksgiving because of the yummy food. Anyways, thank you for having my notifications. I love you so very much. If anybody else would like a notification shout out, comment down below. Letting me know the other notifications turned on and you might be in my next video. Wow, that was good. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Just watch me.